The Ministry of Health and Wellness is cautioning that St. Lucia is still in a critical position as it relates to the coronavirus. The country remains vulnerable to the introduction of COVID-19 and variants of concern from the developed countries and neighboring Martinique and transmission in country due to inconsistent compliance to protocols. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George noted an increase in the social activities across the island, especially on weekends, and a general relaxation of the public health measures. We continue to advise the public to remain vigilant, adhere to the protocols that are put in place to keep us safe. These include regular hand washing, the use of the face mask in public places covering the mouth, nose and chin, avoiding crowds and people with respiratory symptoms, and keeping frequently touched surfaces clean. We are privileged to have access to vaccines in the COVID-19 fight. Vaccination remains the most effective public health measure in managing infectious diseases. The AstraZeneca vaccine has been proven to be safe and effective in protecting people from developing COVID-19, its severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. We continue to urge the public to access the various sites to get immunized at the soonest. The vaccine is available free of charge to the public at many venues on a daily basis. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to manage COVID-19 cases in country, collaborating with various ministries to ensure the safety of the public as the country strives to return to a state of normalcy. As of the 31st of May 2021, the island has recorded a total of 5,072 COVID-19 cases. 185 of those cases were recorded over the last 14 days, with a majority of cases in the southern region of the island and in the north in Barbado and Grosile. We continue to manage numerous outbreaks emanating from local bars. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to support and collaborate with the Ministry of Education in the safe reopening of schools and is pleased with the progress for the last month. The school administration and teachers are encouraged to continue working with the students to ensure a safe educational environment is maintained at all times. The continued diagnosis of cases noted is of concern to the Ministry of Health and Wellness as we continue strengthening the necessary public health systems to manage at this point. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is encouraging the public to get immunized so that everyone can be protected. The vaccination campaign continues on Wednesday, June 2 at the Vigi Sports Complex and Denry Mothers Preschool and on Friday, June 4 at the Darren Sami Cricket Grounds, Jack Mel Wellness Centre and Vigi Sports Complex.